Oh, welcome into a very special interview of the MetaVentrist. I am with the one and only Lizette. Uh, Lizette is a community manager with Upland, and oh my gosh, it feels like she's been doing this job forever. Uh, she's uh, going back a couple of years. Uh, it is, it is with my, you know, my best memory that Lizette's always been there, and she's going to have to correct me here very shortly with when she joined the team, how long she's been with the team, and of course, uh, a couple of the things that she does that are different than things that, that X1 are doing regularly, as well as both both Dan and uh, Squall Mother. So we'll get into those, some of those things, but of course, uh. Lizette's been with the team as as well as uh, the rest of the community manager team, pushing a lot of things along lately. We've seen a lot of a lot of new announcements come out in the next uh, last couple of months, and we do know that the escalation or the changes in a few different departments are changing a lot faster than they have in the past. So we'll get into a couple of those things as well as what people can reach out to the team on and uh, how they can um, move forward with certain elements and aspects of the game that uh, community managers can help them with. I'm um, going to jump in and say welcome Lizette how are you doing today hey I'm doing well how are you I'm doing I'm doing well I didn't want to give you a big long intro because I mean yeah. I want to I want to leave that to yourself a little bit because again okay. I don't I don't want to tell the whole story so tell me a little bit about how long you've been with Upland when you know, what your yeah. role is more or less and sure, uh, yeah. what's it, what's what's it like in your community management role yeah, so Lisette K, I've been um, with Upland for almost two years, I think. Yeah. I'm not, I don't actually remember like the first day that I started. Actually, yeah, it might be like two years. Um, anyway, yeah, almost two years, community manager, and the way that it's kind of split up, um, obviously I'm in U.S. time and uh, Squall and Dan are uh, over on the U.K. So I'm kind of by my lonesome other than the X1. So we kind of try to tag team things a little bit. Um, so on my side of things, I work a little bit more with like the operations and support side. So if support has specific questions that they, um, you know, emails that they get or stuff that needs um, an eye, an extra eye, or it's not something like typically dev related. Um, that's where I kind of try to jump in. Also on the op side, so like uh, trying to to manage like translations and trying to um, direct people to uh, like the issues from the community over up and uh, like through X1, obviously, but then also um, anything that any communications that need to go to the player, if it doesn't uh, doesn't it can't go through through like the the marketing side of things. So like emails and stuff like mm -hmm. that. That's on me to kind of reach out to the players and, and make sure that um, if they need to have certain information, they have it. Um, that's kind of just a brief mm -hmm. summary. Um, I'm hoping that we get um, here in the next couple of weeks a little bit more involvement with um, kind of like the content and maybe even um, like the meta ventures process <laughs> and things like that in order to to kind of make things a little bit smoother. So um yeah, that's kind of it in a nutshell. Um, and uh, we all kind of have our own little special purpose, I guess. Well, I just, yeah, I kind of want to push that out there. So I, I will, there's a lot to unpack there, Lizette. There's a lot to unpack there. I mean, there's one <laughs> there's one thing that, you know, that always comes up. And again, you know, I, the, the, you, I'm glad you put the meta venture thing out there because that's definitely a you know big part of this series. But um, yeah. I, I do want to go back on the community management because, again, there's still people who have questions about, how do I reach out? When do I reach out? You said a pretty important thing there. That's, you know, things that aren't going to come from marketing, but is coming from the, with the CM front. So that's like, like you said, contest winners or even yeah. onto the meta venture side of things when people need to get informed of certain things. Right. Yeah. So I think that um, for the most part, the best route to take for that kind of stuff, like meta ventures questions mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. is to go through support because now they've been, we've kind of, really work to streamline that process. And it was such a headache at one point. And so now it's like, listen, support is getting so many questions and they before their only option was to say, Hey, sorry, like we can't, we don't have access to that information. We can't see it. So now it's kind of all fair game. And so now support has that information. The community team has that information. So it would go. So if you had a question, for example, on your specific meta venture uh, application, you'd send an email to support. If support can't find the information, then they would come to the community team. And we would try to find either work with the meta ventures team to get that work with whoever we had to, in order to get that information information for the player. Um, and then also just things that we see over on Discord or on Twitter or an in in-game chat um, that's a little bit of 
the priority right now Mm -hmm. is to make sure that we're trying to answer these questions because I know that so many people have them and they're kind of lingering in there. And some folks are kind of like in an abyss, right. Mm -hmm. Um, where they have no information. So trying to make that a little bit better, Mm -hmm. um, right now going through that process and streamlining that process has been like a huge, um, I wouldn't say concern, maybe focus is what I should Mm say, um, for the team overall. So hopefully that process is getting better, but as far as reaching out to like a CM, it's Mm -hmm. really, you know, tech bugs, Mm -hmm. people post stuff in tech bugs all the time. And it's kind of our job to, Mm -hmm. if if support isn't on to make sure that those things are getting passed up. Right. And that, and that dev knows at all times, if there are any issues that are happening or direct people in the right direction, we're kind of like, we're kind of like traffic control mixed in with the support and mixed in with just being able to commiserate with folks. Um, so it's a little bit of, of emotional support as well. So a little bit of everything. Well, that, that, and that's what I get. You know, that's what I've heard, you know, from other community managers. It's, it's like we are the go-between so that every other department that's not that's not community managers can communicate with the part with the uh, community. And then community has questions right. and, they, and those questions go back to dev, but they actually get translated through community management. And it seems like a lot of in-between and go-between work for you guys. Yeah. And that's essentially what it is, right? Like you're kind of a go-between because it would be, um, it'd be crazy if somebody from dev sat in discord all day long answering questions. Um, sometimes it would be enough, nothing major. Sometimes they would be there all day long. So it's like putting those resources to, to, okay, focus on dev. You will get reports when they come up is kind of like a more streamlined process. Um, because I know it kind of sounds, um, like, uh, like it it sounds weird, right? It Mm -hmm. sounds kind of opposite of what it should be because if somebody was there, they would see it instantly, but why not put those resources to, to like fixing stuff Mm -hmm. and building stuff and doing that and just have somebody to be kind of the go-between. Um, it was a little weird at first. I'm not going to (laughs) lie, but now it's like, this is the rhythm and this is, this is, uh, this is the best thing at least that works for our team. Well, if it does feel like you guys are playing jazz a little bit where you're having to answer questions on the fly, it's like you don't have the answer sheet in front of you. Um, I, we, have, we have had a contest. We had a contest going on right now for the road trip. And it's like it feels like we're getting different answers because you guys are having to go and ask the question to get the answers when it's like, uh, what's going to count here? Or does this count? Or does that not count? And then you guys come back with answers. And sometimes it seems like different CMs are coming back with different answers. Is that do you have one sheet you're playing off? Or are you all trying to just go back you know, to the well? We do kind of, um, but we also, there are some questions that like that come up that maybe somebody didn't think about, or maybe we have to look at an in-depth um, answer or we know the answer, but we're like, Hey, this answer doesn't make sense. So mm-hmm. let's try to change it before we go and answer it. Right. Like we shouldn't, th- this doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. Let's go back to who created the, the challenge or who, mm-hmm. Um, is in charge of this and get what the answer should be, the right answer mm-hmm. instead of the answer we have at hand right now. And so that's that's kind of the biggest mm-hmm. juggling part of it is figuring out, okay, this is the answer to the question, but you know what? This is kind of crap and <laughs> shouldn't be the answer. So let's go back and fix it. And for the most part, it's 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 pretty um it's pretty helpful, I guess, to be able to do that and it not just be um, like, no, this is the answer, right? And nothing, um, is, is very little is black mm-hmm. and white and, and there's, and, and there's room, I guess, for improvement where there needs to be. And so, um, yeah, it's a little bit of juggling <laughs> and a little bit of, of back and forth. And we are trying to like, you know, clean up the process and, and do better so that everyone has the same information at all times. And, and yeah, it's, it's definitely taking some work. It feels like the best the best version of middle management. Like, you know, you have to go up the ladder, come back down the ladder, go back up the ladder again and actually try to solve things as opposed to just take take what orders are given to you. So I, I, yeah, I, I, I yeah, no, I mean, I, I, in the past, it's felt a little bit like, you know, you're being given marching orders and you're just like, I'm just saying what I'm being told to say. But I do like the fact that you guys are looking for answers as as things happen. Yeah. And I think also looking, always looking for improvement, I think is what I would focus on, right? Like if we, if we, if, if there's 
you know, a challenge or whatnot. And we know the answer to the question because we have it in front of us, but we're like, this is not what's best for the community, or this just does not make any sense. Mm -hmm. And it's just making it even more difficult. Hey, let's go back and try to push to change that in order um, for, for more people to succeed or mm -hmm. in order for it to jive better with the community. Um, because at the end of the day, we're the ones that are going to be mm -hmm. getting attacked, right, for that answer. So we might as well try to stop the bullets before they come. Um, leaderboards, 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 leaderboards. Yeah. I, I mean, I got, again, that's not something you can snap your fingers and make happen. But I mean, it would be nice. I wish I could. Yeah, I wish I could. And I know that the, that that um, dev wants to and is is their goal is to make all mm -hmm. leaderboards in game. Yeah. Um, it's just, I, I, I'm not a developer. I don't know. I couldn't tell you right from left when it yeah. comes to that space. So mm -hmm. I have no idea, um, you know, the kind of effort it takes or the work that it takes. Um, but that is definitely a goal is to make everything mm -hmm. game. And that would make, that would make our lives a lot easier, but, um, I'm sure that it, it would bring a lot more satisfaction for players. What? Yeah, the, the idea, you know, and again, that's always the idea, right? If if, yeah. if people feel like they should have done differently in a challenge than they did and they don't know what the rules are of a contest, it, it, it's tricky. It is tricky, uh, tricky line to walk. Is that is that something that's been worked on on the side of continuous improvement with like the communication back and forth with devs at all? Yeah, so that's definitely on our quality of life list, right? Mm. Like we have different types of lists for what um, dev would work on. And there's one that's like, legit like app improvements um mm. you know new features mm. and then there's quality of life like mm -hmm. what is going to make life better for current players or or new players or anybody that comes in um not necessarily something that that is uh, crucial or essential mm. to function um but that would be nice to have right those nice to haves are always they're they're always trying to sprinkle those in um mm. into the plan or into into the uh the, the roadmap i guess mm -hmm. for every order um, and I, I do, I do think that after getting over some hurdles, mm -hmm. there'll be, there'll be quite a few quality of life updates. You, you said one of my favorite words. I don't know if you've been following along for the last like 20 days, but you said the word, uh, you know, roadmap and, <laughs> uh, we're in Q3, you know that, right? <laughs> yes, I know. Uh, I do know that we're in Q3. Yeah. Yes. And you know, there's like this update thing that happens every quarter sometimes. Yeah, is that is that called a roadmap? It's like an AMA roadmap update. Is that what that's <laughs> called? Something like that. Yeah. yeah. No, it's definitely in the works. And mm -hmm. I know that um, I'm only assuming that mm. FIFA kind of threw a wrench in that, right? Mm. Getting for everything. So I'm hoping yeah. that's coming soon. I know that like we were already kind of on standby mm -hmm. for for that um, that AMA and even uh, maybe even an extra Q&A on it. I don't know, maybe. Um, but it's... It's in the works. It is mm. coming. It is, it is coming. coming. So, and, and and again, I I I joke about that. The other thing I've been joking about for twenty days is when is Upwind going to actually announce what they're doing for FIFA? You know, should I give up hope? Are they going to wait until like the World Cup's half over? When's that going to happen? And you I know, know. very reminiscent of the first uh, NFL PA season, right? Yeah. <laughs> but it did come and mm. I do know that there were FIFA hurdles, but I don't, um, yeah, I don't know the ins and outs yeah. of, of that relationship, obviously. Yeah. Um, I wish I did, but. Well, no, I, mean, I was at, I was at Genesis week this year and it, it seemed a lot more involved and it seemed like, you know, yeah. FIFA was taking it seriously. They, they are. And from what mm. I know, FIFA is is very interested in mm. continuing stuff and very interested in learning along with Upland um, how we can make this better, like a true partnership, really. Yeah. And so it is really exciting, but that that also means that there's there's more questions and there's <laughs> more, you know? So it's just, I think the, the ops team is taking it on pretty well, as well as dev kind of shifting where they need to or, um, uh, you know, have, having those tough conversations, but from what I can see, um, from my purview, I, I think that, um, I think, I think it's a really solid relationship. Mm. So hopefully that continues to expand. I actually love soccer, football, football, whatever you want to call it. Football, uh, football. Yeah. <laughs> whatever you want to call it. I am actually a huge fan. I watch, you know, the world cup, the women's world cup, regular kind of club soccer. So 
this is super exciting for me. So you're on you're on West Coast time or Mountain time, more or less, right now. Yeah. So right now I'm on Pacific time yeah. um, because I'm traveling. I'm with my family uh, in California, and then normally though I live um, in Central time. So it was like 1 a.m. your time did you watch the early games that like yeah it's 1 a.m. your time no, no. no. <laughs> I did no. not no that no. was I have children so mm-hmm. I sleep when I can um Fair so enough. I yeah you, you you sleep you sleep when the children sleep that's about what you do exactly yeah, yeah that's yeah. the rule I will make an exception for you know like when the U.S. plays I know they have mm-hmm. some games that are like 1 a.m. 4 a.m. here in in California um, if we are still here at that point, I would definitely, mm. you know, make an exception that yeah. way. Um, it, I just, yeah, I try to sleep. Yeah, the line, the so, lines, the lines this year for for the the U.S. women's team. It's yeah, you know, you can't uh, say you can't say shoe in, but you know, I am not. Um, so I'm taking my Upland hat off and putting yeah, on yeah. my personal hat. I'm a huge. I'm very into like sports betting. Yeah. So love my husband as well. He got me into it. So yeah. love, love, love hearing you say lines and yeah. Yeah, I'm. Totally you see this? The, the U.S. women are like only plus two hundred to win from from yes. from group stage. It's insane. I, I I mean, you know, they've been the favorite for a long time. Yeah, and yeah. Low key, it'd be cool to see another team because that just means that uh, women's sports is is getting enriched in other mm. countries. Right. And they're putting more effort. And I know that like the attention to women's sports or women's football, at least, mm-hmm. has been, um, you know, as much as much as the men's. And that's and that's I don't want to say it's normal, but that's pretty typical for other sports because mm-hmm. it just brings in more revenue and it does all this stuff. Right. Um, so I see that. But I think that putting this this emphasis on like, hey, like this is they are freaking badass. Right. Like, let's, let's put in. <laughs> But let's emphasize them as well because they're they're just um, I don't know, and especially in the U.S. like the, the U.S. Like, men's soccer versus the U.S. women's soccer. I would follow the U.S. <laughs> women's soccer like ten times, you know, twice twice as much energy, maybe ten times as much energy yeah. to watch a women's game because they're gonna win or they we got a better chance anyways. Right. I actually for the men's. Uh, World Cup was rooting yeah. for Mexico. That's just I've yeah. always watched Mexican yeah. soccer like. Yeah. Growing- so that that's my team like that's just um so it's like it's a little a little bit of both I guess no fair enough and again it doesn't you know nationality and all that aside it is it is fun to see you know to have a team to root for um you know we've got a lot of uh we've got a lot of Australians that are active in the upland community who are you know women's world cup Australian New Zealand this year um so it's kind of exciting to see that you know see that play out and then have a little bit of Oh, I know that stadium kind of kind of thing or that area kind of thing. Yeah, that is super cool. Yeah, and yeah. I do um it's super cool that it's out there, but for the next men's uh World Cup mm-hmm. in the US, yeah, oh my yeah. god. Yeah, I yeah. Want to game so bad. And I told my my husband we got to start saving our pennies. Yeah, yeah. Go to, go to a game. <laughs> saving your pennies, what are you talking about? Uh, Upland, I I think it's a good idea that Lizette goes to the next World Cup if you continue you. to have it. Yeah, if I agree. You can, if you continue to have the the partnership with FIFA, it just makes sense. It does. It just makes sense. It totally. You're welcome. You're welcome. By the way, I appreciate. Yeah, you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, uh, you know, and of course, you know, with with that with that announcement, obviously that was the big announcement. I appreciate the fact that that really plays into why there might be a delay in the AMA. I can appreciate that. I can respect that. Um, and I think that you know one thing that we've kind of had you know pushed along, bounced around the last couple of weeks. Uh, alongside that is the is the cafes i mean we've got we've got a couple weeks worth of uh back and forth with with some of the cms kind of playing you know we're gonna have more and more events in the in the in the cafes kind of like tongue-in-cheek we know what's gonna happen and you don't and uh it's gonna it's been interesting it's been an interesting couple weeks to see those that played around uh you got anything on that just yet or is that still bouncing uh yes and no so we know you know there are a lot of plans for the Mm. cafes i think Mm. that um it really is going to be beneficial and it really Mm. is going to add another layer um to what and not layer in what everyone thinks when Mm. we talk upland i just mean like (laughs) right i just mean it's another layer to 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 what um 
to what we do and what we're doing. And I think it's super cool and super interesting. And I would love for us to take advantage of that. And I don't know, it feels a lot more personal, right? Like mm. I, uh, I think that that is the, the number one true benefit is that it feels way more uh, personal and connected than, mm. than anything else. And even see, I, I think even seeing it on, um, on YouTube, right. It, like mm. if so much more, um, personal. And so I, I really am looking forward to what's coming with cafes. Well, I mean, play, connect, earn, right? So that was always a promise, you know, gamification was limited up front. The really, you know, the earning was there, but the, the gamification was limited. Now planes become a bigger portion. Now connect really, you know, the idea of the social aspect really yeah. needs to be pushing the game. Right. Yeah. And that connect has lived, um, pretty, pretty, it, it's been pretty vibrant in mm. the different discord servers. There's yeah, of course. Different neighborhoods and the different groups. And that's been awesome, right? To see and to know that mm. players have that, but we need to bring that just kind of inherent to mm. the, and so, or to the game. And I feel like cafes are really, you know, going to, to have a play in that. And um, I'm, I'm super excited for them to finally, um, yeah, for more to come, I guess. I'm, I'm trying not to. I yeah, that's really fair. <laughs> that, that, that's fair. You know, it's like it's like I, you know, I there's certain things that I I know to say and not to say. So I appreciate yeah. that line you're walking. <laughs> um, yeah, and and, and again, I, that was the one thing I do. I'm curious about. You may already have the answer for. I mean, do you guys already have plans for you know when we did start having in-game communication? You started to see a little bit of that with the uh, CMs having uh, a role in the in-game communication, being able to use the in-game chats a little differently or using those to communicate and catch people, as well as, you know, running some of those groups, some of those uh, those chat channels. Is some of this going to move maybe, maybe have uh, community management have a little role when it comes to uh, cafes? Is that already in the works? Is that official or not official? Or um, I guess yes and no. Mm -hmm. I think that um i think that the that the team is definitely going to have some role mm -hmm. in like upland cafes mm -hmm. um, yeah of course but i think that you know player ran cafes are mm -hmm. are going to be are, are going to be pretty open for folks to, to yeah. kind of plan out and do i mean in the in the future do whatever they can dream of doing right hopefully mm -hmm. at some point and so i think that yes for like the upland side mm -hmm. but um i think the most exciting thing yeah we get to connect on in, in upland ran cafes but the most exciting thing about cafes to me is those player ran cafes and and what players are going to be able to do what um you know some of our uc and broadcasters will be able to do and and those kind of um organic meetups that will happen all of that is is what truly excites me um i don't know how much role um we'll have in that i think at mm. first maybe but who knows i think that this is that this is something that can really grow and 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 get um get pretty wild so well the in cafe a in, in a good way in, <laughs> in a, a good, good way, way. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, what the, the the cafe thing, you know, that I've enjoyed seeing the team on is you know, like uh, Dan's been doing those little, you know, when he when he does the uh, the stream oh. Tuesdays and Thursdays, he's been gay in the cafe, and that's been an interesting right. thing to encourage yeah. people to get in their life. Um, but you I know, think on there'll be more, there'll definitely be more of that. There'll definitely mm -hmm. be more of like kind of like the stock car event. There'll yeah. definitely that are that are either project managers or people that have the knowledge doing maybe some live sessions mm -hmm. some more fireside chat style things some more q a style things um we do a lot of you know we do the uh, the office hour for example in mm -hmm. uh, in the ugc channel in discord for mm -hmm. the designers to ask questions to someone on the design team and it, it's it's worked so well but what if it could be in the cafe where it was mm -hmm. more interactive and they were showing step by step, hey, this is how you go through um, the validation tool. And this is how, you know, that is is such an advantage to that subset of players. So I think that there's there's definitely some some future and some potential there. Oh, I'm, I'm also looking at reach because you have to keep keep in mind that Discord is a percentage of the players of Upland. Exactly. It's not the game of Upland. Very, and there's mm -hmm. very small percentage. Yeah. <laughs> we actually dug into um the statistics in or the the data, right? The analytics in, mm. in Discord. And we have some Discord users that are very active. Yes, we do. <laughs> and that have like 
thousands of messages that they yeah. post and we love them they're great I, I you know i won't call them out here um but it i, I almost called one of them out but okay can you i can you guess who one of the top uh, two are uh yeah three, yeah banana my buddy banana i think, he, oh, I think he, he'll let banana's me call him out there, out there. Yeah, yeah, banana's yeah. definitely out there. Shout out to banana. Um, you know, somebody that may or may not be um unnameable. Um, yeah. even yeah, yeah. somebody that may or may not have multiple R's in their name. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. There are people that are super active, right? Yeah. But then after those top, like, I don't know, like 10, 15, it really trickles down. Yeah. And so it's really trying to um take in-game ch- in-game chat with that in mind and know mm. that like we are reaching so many more people over there or with there's the potential right and so we really got to beef up in game chat capabilities and it's being worked on but the capabilities behind it um who people can talk to when they can talk what they can talk about all of these things um are it's definitely in the works so, you, so you're even thinking about and again this is such a difficult thing in, in all web spaces web three especially because it's just it's just growing it's, it's just becoming what it will be um or i should say it's becoming the be- the base you know base the benchmark the start of what will build the next level with what will be you know very very early but i mean like mo- i mean is it a concept of moderation already starting to jump out there or is it really like let people moderate their own spaces when it comes to cafes? Um, yeah. So when it comes to cafes, I couldn't tell you, to be mm. honest. I think that, um, I think it depends on how, how deep we go into it, how many yeah. cafes there are out there, yeah. what's, what's happening. Um, I think there will always be some level of moderation needed, mm. but maybe yeah. at some point, and this is just theoretical, but maybe yeah. at some point it's up to the cafe owner, right. To moderate yeah. that and to yeah. do that. We would never want for um, somebody to feel, um, uh, you know, victimized or for mm. somebody to be attacked or for someone to to feel like, um, or, or for there to be like inappropriate stuff going on. Um, so there will have to be some level, but I think mm. a lot of it is a lot of the, the um, kind of onus of that is going to be put on um, on cafe owners mm. to, to, you know, use responsibly, I guess. Oh. But, um, I mean, the 18 plus TOS in Upland makes a huge difference. I mean, as far as yeah. the, some of the need for, you know, some of the need for moderation, but you also have to be able to put, you know, that, that, that warning, right. You come into a cafe and here's the rules of the cafe, poof, right in your face. And maybe, yeah. and maybe that's how it works. You know, you have to follow the rules of that particular cafe when you're right. right. Yeah, for sure. And I think it, it, it gets hard because you want to be, um, an inclusive space and a safe space, but you Mm. don't want, um, it's, you just have to be careful, I think. Yeah. 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 And I think that at first, maybe there'll be some moderation in place, but we'll have to, Mm. it's something that honestly, I don't know that at least I haven't been part of a conversation Mm. of what do we do when anybody can have a cafe? Yeah. Well, that's the scary thing too. Is what do you do yeah. when anybody can have a meta venture? You know what yeah. happens? To, what happens to the economic force of a meta venture or the economic value of meta venture when there's you know seven meta ventures for every single player in the game of Upland? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When everyone's super, no one is right. And so yeah. I think that um, that's from The Incredibles, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh, I, can't, uh, I I was picking up what you're putting down. <laughs> but I, yeah, it is it is tough, and it it's for much smarter than mine uh to figure out so um you know i think it's going to be i think it's going to be nothing but good things though and so that's that's what i'm hoping for and and um i'm hoping that on my side of things we get to have more interaction um maybe some one-on-one more personal interaction with players and and really have um i i don't know the ability to 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 hear people in that space I, and you I don't think, mean hear like listen to people. I mean like hear you. You know. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah, uh, yeah and, and, and I, I think that's an interesting thing, and, and that's what I was thinking about. You know, that was my concept of what is your role going to be in cafes because that's like an that's an actual forum where you could hear 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 live voice. And again, yeah. we talk about AMAs. How how powerful is it to have a periodic AMA? Maybe add one more a quarter where it doesn't have to be the founders, where it can be somebody other than the founders to have yeah. those conversations. And that's definitely if you talk um if you talk to people on the team, that's definitely mm. what 
the goal is eventually Mm -hmm. to get to a point where we can have um, staff that dedicates, you know, an hour, two hours, whatever of their week, month, whatever, Mm -hmm. to answering some questions and hearing people out and hearing feedback and suggestions. And it's definitely um, a useful tool to not just, um, you know, uh, grow the the general like player base but also to get in more in touch with the current player base mm-hmm. so i um yeah 100 percent spot on that that's definitely an asset that we we could take advantage of i i think it's one you should take advantage of <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I could see, I could see Lizette having office hours every Tuesday if I'm, you know, no, whatever time. My no. whole day is office hours. I'm oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but yes, I would actually love to be um, in a cafe versus um, like on Discord, right? Yeah. Uh, but in a cafe and an in-game chat, like at the same time, that'd yeah. be that's the goal, I think. And I think that um, while Discord is great, I think like it's closed, right? Mm. Like, and closed in the sense of like, it's not every player. You can't reach every player. Mm. And granted through in-game chat right now, we can't reach every player because Mm. that has it enabled, right? But when there's more um, capability and when there's more to do, maybe everyone else will enable it, right? And that's kind of the goal. Yeah, I think that's been part of it is is having real, you know, having a real, I don't know if it's a quorum, if we want to call it a quorum or we want to call it, uh, in you know, a, a subscription of, you know, players oh. trying to get into these spaces. So I don't know. I think we've got more of a quorum in uh, in chat at this point than we do in Discord. I think that's a fair thing to say, right? I mean, you guys have the metrics. I don't. But I, I definitely have seen there's a lot more people who seem to be in chat than who's accessible or that I can easily access in the game of this or oh. in, the, in Discord. So. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, so that's been that's been an interesting thing that happened. And you did bring something up that I do want to circle back to kind of, you know, again, kind of a focus, <laughs> kind of a focus of the series, uh, which is, you know, a meta ventures. I and mean, we talked about it came from the CMs and, and rightfully so that, hey, we're doing this, this and this. And it was touted. It was touted as, as a pretty, pretty serious push of we're going to streamline meta ventures. We're going to make it happen more quickly. You know, this is something that's an, a continuous improvement. It's not going to be day one, but we're going to be working towards it. And we, it was a strong push not too long before Genesis week. We're about a month out of Genesis week. Do you know where that, where, where does that sit us now? Or what's going on with the meta ventures continuous improvement that's been going on? I think that um, when the new application system went through, and this is just mm. a hypothesis that I have. But when the new application system came out, it was like, oh man, these are easy. It's way easier to do. Mm-hmm. And so there, the, the backlog on the old system just kind of either remained stagnant or it, there, it was very little because mm-hmm. it moves so slowly because it requires responses from the player, requires um, a little bit more than or a lot more than what the new application process kind of requires, right? I think that the goal... Um, it, here in the next couple of weeks is to get all of those old applications completely responded to all that, that entire backlog uh, responded to. Now, I think there's kind of been a bottom line set of like, mm. this needs to be done. Yeah. And this is no longer like a, you know, let's work toward it and let's do it. It's now a, it's going to happen because it's going to happen. Um, and so hopefully in the next week, maybe two, um, that old kind of the old backlog or the backlog of the old application. So if, if somebody applied through like the blog post or through the website, right on that click up link, yeah. those will be, everyone will be contacted, whether it's because, you know, we're still waiting on new images or we're, or the description is too long or the name is inappropriate or whatever it is, you're going to get a response. And if it's those like, Hey, your description is too long hey, this application is, is denied, go apply in city hall, yeah. but know that your description was too long and that's why it's being denied. And mm-hmm. I think that is honestly how it should have been from the start. Hey, mm-hmm. your description is wrong. This is denied, apply again with a proper description, right? Instead of like allowing, which is nice to allow players to like send back, okay, here's my new one. Oh, it's still too long. Okay, here's my new one. That sort of thing. Not to say that that's the only reason why um, this has taken so long, but it's one of the reasons and that's something that we can easily control. So yes, they're all, um, you know, 
crossing fingers. I still have to cross my fingers, but mm -hmm. in the next week or two, the old applications will hopefully all be kind of worked through. Everyone okay. will have at least a response, whether they've been approved. So my, so, so my tr track I've been waiting on for four months, done deal. In oh, a week. wait, so that's different. Oh, that's okay, different. okay. Tell me that. Tell me that. Men Adventures yeah. are a completely different animal from regular. And what I've been saying is we could have, mm. we should have called it something differently because now when we say Meta Ventures, everybody thinks like, oh, Speedway Meta Ventures are part of that, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not. Um, that The racetrack stuff is completely different. It's okay. a whole different team. It's a whole different process. So those are not included. These are like the core um meta ventures uh to include like factory and um showroom um so so eight to ten months for racetrack okay i'll take that <laughs> i don't know what that process looks like okay. i am not involved there but i think some of these things that we're learning or mm. were learned by the meta ventures team for regular meta ventures are kind of being enacted into like speedway right which will then trickle into like okay cafes let's not do this the same way we did the first mm. one and have a backlog, right? Like let's, let's kind of streamline this. For example, though, like, okay, like factory applications, for example, now it's in, in city hall, it's dynamic. So mm. you will not see the option or you shouldn't see the option to do a factory unless you have one built. That, yeah, it's, that it's, is it's, what it's a lot better than it was. I mean, like literally it'll gray it out when you put, when you put the structure and it says, choose your structure type. And it only lets you do what based on what structures you own in right. that city. Exactly. Yeah. And so that's a lot easier, right? Instead of going back and forth, like, no, you don't have, you don't have the structure or folks that didn't know, and maybe we could have communicated, communicated better. Didn't know that, Hey, with this structure, it's like the bare minimum of, mm. of like the quantity that you can hold. Um, so maybe you should, you know, build an apartment building or, you know, and it's like yeah. that just from the start, it, if it's dynamic, you could see, um, you know, what's best for you. And that I think is, I think it's kind of a quality of life thing too. Right. A aside from functionality. So I'll give you a gripe. You ready for a gripe? Oh gosh. Yeah. You, re you ready? Okay. So the, so, you know, the factory, you know how I have spark and, and one of my goals as a player in the game of upland is I should constantly be doing something with my spark. The factory requires your your spark to be entirely unstaked in order for you to apply. Hmm. Yeah, I did see that. And yeah. I did, who brought it up? Somebody brought it up uh, to me in a DM. And I passed that on to the MetaVentures team. Yeah. And they're like, yep, we have to edit that in the application. Oh. Complete, that was completely missed. But yeah, yeah. I'm, I didn't know that either. <laughs> I, 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 I'm literally re reallocating my spark because, you know, we have minimum stakes for different types of buildings. Right, and right. one of the things that you do when you're building structures is sometimes you start multiple structures at the same time and then you reallocate your spark around to move things. And it's like, OK, I have, I have this process. I have to go back and finish all of these structures so I can yeah. free up enough spark to go apply for this other project. Right, right. But, hey. Yeah. Yeah, that should be communicated. One hundred percent correct. It should it should be communicated on the application. Mm -hmm. Your spark has to be in stake when we check it, right? When we go and check that you have it and verify, it has to be. Or I guess now in the in the application, it'll it won't let you apply. It, correct. Before, it, it'll, it'll, say, it'll only read what you have available. Yeah. Right. So before somebody had to go in and check how much spark you have, it was very manual, mm -hmm. right? And yeah. so. It, things are just going to be so much faster with this new process. And what's really like the anchor that's holding us down is this old backlog mm. of patients that just need to be, need to go out the door. Mm. And hopefully, hopefully that's, yeah, seriously. Um, hopefully that's coming. Um, they're definitely working really hard to, to get that out. Um, yeah, I mean, there's, this... there's tons of progress with that. So I'm hoping... It's a good sign, right? It's it's a that means that any other meta venture to come or any meta venture type, it's just going to be that much better. And theoretically, when we get some of these more uh, in intensive meta venture types that are coming up, like manufacturing of vehicles, I mean, they, again, yeah. they have utility that's much more detailed than any other utility in the game of Upland so far. I mean, that's going to be a more layered, more nuanced meta venture. So, if we can get things right early on, and we get things right with some of the meta ventures we have out now. Hopefully we have less hurdles and then we can worry about the UGC elements, the functional right. elements of all those assets. Yeah.
and i and on that i gotta get my spark freed up for my for the now open uh meta venture application for uh for, for uh, carts for... yeah and that happened without <laughs> fanfare by the way that was i know <laughs> that was very sneaky it, it, it Sorry, I'm I, getting a notification on Zoom that my internet is unstable. So I'm like waiting. Oh, oh I, got, I saw I saw a couple like freezies of, of yeah. Lizette. <laughs> I just rolled with it. I think we're good. I think we're good now. But yes, okay. no fanfare. But it just snuck it in there. Slip it in there. No one's watching. Uh, and and again, the one thing I wanted to, and I, I appreciate your time. I, I'm, I'm watching the clock go tick, tick, tick. But the one, the, but part of what I wanted to, you know, touch on, you know, with, you know, with the meta ventures is, you know, again, we know it's continuous improvement. We know, we know all this. We talk, I mentioned about the, you put, you put the best quote out there, right? Uh, when everybody's super, no one is. Uh, you know, is, is there, is there coming that time? Is there going to be any additional, you know, uh, either throttling or, requirements of meta ventures or is it just going to be a free for all you know is that what's what we're going to see long term i don't know to be honest with you i have no idea i think that's a great ama question yeah. um, <laughs> um, if, if there was one at some point soon if there was one at some point that would be a great question yeah. um i i honestly don't know um but i would imagine that there has to be some sort mm. of um you know control i guess mm. um so that it doesn't uh hurt the economy right yeah. and yeah yeah i mean because you have you have legit stores selling three legits a month and you know there might be fifty thousand legit sold a month but if there's if there's fifteen thousand shops again pie in the sky long-term pictures uh yeah. you know if there's fifteen thousand shops and fifty thousand get sold a month that's on average for a month that's not that's nothing to have a meta venture for Right, right. No, yeah. I, I agree with you. I, mm -hmm. I, I would assume that there's, you know, a plan kind of in place mm -hmm. for that. I'm just not right. Not the right gal to answer that yeah. question. <laughs> you know? Hey, you know what? That's a fair answer. <laughs> yeah, that's a fair answer. Yeah, it's, it's like I can I can ask you to, to predict the future, but you know, your crystal ball is only so big. Yeah, it's only it's only so big and it only shows me so much. So yeah, yeah. Um, I have no, like, I <laughs> you have hopes okay yeah hey, you yeah. know what let me ask you that because that was one of my questions i got three questions that i have to ask you that okay. aren't as 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 meta venture related but the first one is, is i mean let me ask you that because you've been with the company for two years um you know since i've been highly active in discord you've been there um and it, it's like even though even though uh even though we definitely do still have X one. Oh, there she goes. She might be back. There she is. Yeah. Uh, X one is is the chief llama herder. You're very much. I've seen you as like the chief or the head uh, CM, probably for most of those two years. Uh, at least, at least people taking the lead. What do you see? What do you want to see? Uh, what is the what is the crystal ball of of Lizette say for for the upcoming future for uh, community management and what it looks like if you were to be able to make some of those choices and see some of those things go the way you want them to go. Oh man. Um, I would love for it to eventually get to a point where it's a lot more, um, we still have that one-on-one -on -one, like engagement mm -hmm. and that one-on-one -on -one kind of, I'd say relationship with mm -hmm. folks. Right. Um, I would love to, for it to get to a point of, um, of like, uh, how do I put this? I guess appropriately. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> you know, they don't have to be appropriate. No, 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 no rules. No, that. but it just, I, I just, I want it to get to a point where we, it's, it's a lot like the connection is a lot more seamless mm. because like we're all in in-game chat. We're all chatting. We're all talking about the same things. And, and that's going to take some uh, work on our end and, and, and getting more familiar with things, right? Like I, I am dying to play Upland Kingdoms, for example. And like, just get really into it so that I can really get into the conversations and really, um, you know, commiserate with folks and really get at be, I guess, right there with you in, in so that you, aspect. So you want to be someone's vassal. Okay. I hear what, I hear what you're putting down. <laughs> I guess. Um, yeah. I just, I want it to be, a, I guess, more personal and being mm. able to 
have that stronger connection. Um, I also would love to get to a point where we can answer all of those questions that folks have um, quicker and more seamless. Mm -hmm. um, I think I think we do a good job of of communicating up and um, and then communicating onto the community. And, um, you know, getting the answers that we need, it's, it, it could always be better though. And I would love for that to be just this super seamless process um, of us being in the know, like us being community managers, being in the know of everything that's happening that way um, and how it works, right? And that's the one thing that I really need to work on is how it works. Cause it's such a, um, it's such a huge concept, right? Mm -hmm. And it's so like abstract. And so knowing exactly how things work and be able to answer even the technical questions. Um, you know, I think we'll eventually get to that point, but um, the, the number one goal I think is being able to just th those connections to, to grow, I think more seamlessly. And, and that's gonna take a lot more interaction. That's gonna take, um, I think in game chat is gonna do that for us and cafes and, and being able to really focus on those things. Mm -hmm. um, and, and uh, yeah. I like it. No, I to... Sure, I guess they, they have to have to put it that way. That's, that's the correct answer. But the, the other question I do want to ask again. You know, started pushing the Reddit thing, and I don't know if you got pushed back on it or what, but it was definitely less focused on Reddit, like it was eventually going to be. But it, what is that? Uh, idea. Oh, perfect. I don't know how much you lost me on. Hey, <laughs> I don't know how much you lost me on. Um, um, I think you were, uh, no, I, the whole thing, the whole thing, the every whole single bit start over again. Yes. Like, right back to, to word one of the interview. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah. The whole no. thing. Sure. Yeah. So uh, yeah, as as uh, I'm, I've, I've probably got a bit and a half of you on video just going, okay, where did it go? What's it? Where does yeah, it go? Like <laughs> that's good no that's good it works out for me it's it's, it's gonna look great <laughs> when i start to start to splice things together no uh so in the in the last you know in the in the last couple years uplands had a lot of focus on you know the discord the telegram the you know the all of these other channels and as things start to migrate in does the focus come off from those does that become you know the past or is it something that upwind still tries to keep their feet in the whole way through i mean what, what do you what do you see that the evolution of the connect portion is that entirely going to become in game i think at some point mm -hmm. it will be the majority of it will be in game yeah mm -hmm. um as we start like beefing up in game chat and making it a lot more um uh i don't know a lot more interactive and um I think that I think that the, the majority of the focus is going to go there because, like I said, that's that is where the player base is. A lot of people are on Discord and a lot of people are on Reddit and a lot of people are on Telegram and, and you know, all of that. But that is where we're casting a wider net. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that it would only make sense to like focus on those things. Mm -hmm. I don't know that, you know, discord and Reddit and telegram will, will ever go away completely. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think that, I think that the focus should be in game chat and cafes because what? it's inherent to the app, right? Like it's, it's mm -hmm. just what, um, it's just what, what should come naturally, but I think it, that's only going to happen if we improve the chat features. Mm -hmm. If that is something that is, is, um, I don't know if it, if, if it works well mm. and um, it adds something that Discord doesn't have mm. is the only way that people would move toward that, right? Like you don't go to something different and, and find a new normal or a new routine unless you have added benefits or you have um, added, you know, capabilities or usability or whatever. And so we have to make it better than the current option in order for people. To, and this is more about like, you know, I don't know. It's kind of like communications and like trying to be strategic, but 
I, I, I do think that it should be, the focus should be in in-game chat and, and cafes once those are, are ready and, and are robust and, and um, ready to be the focal point. If, and if I can give you a hint, just, you know, don't pull a Zuckerberg, don't focus on the hands and feet, focus on the, you know, the, the quality of communication, the quality of the experience overall. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that, I think that that has always been like, okay, we need to, we need to do better. We need to be better and we need to improve this. And part of that is a feature thing. Part of it is um, people being able to see the information the way that they digest it. If they digest it through reading or through a video or they get all their information from social media, we need to be strategic about how we're communicating with players. Mm -hmm. um, but when it comes to like where we, we focus all of our attention, all of our resources and our energy, at some point we are going to have to put more emphasis on in-game chat and cafe. Only when they they are providing a benefit to players i think mm -hmm. does that mean we're going to see an expansion of uh, cm staff oh, i fucking hope so no <laughs> <laughs> i think that uh, maybe you know eventually i hope so but i think right now i mean we're 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 rolling mm -hmm. and we're doing our thing and we're um there's been um you know bigger emphasis on we're communicating inward as in like our current mm. community and outward to like the future community type thing. Mm. Um, so as long as we get all of our, all of our um, comms aligned, I think that maybe we can grow. Yeah. I, I like, I like that idea that, that we you know continue to grow. And uh, mm. I, I think it's definitely not your role and I, and I never, I never put it on the community management at all, but I think, you know, that, that expanding player base has, has got to be a continued, you know, continued conversation. Yeah. And I think the only thing I could see the CM's role in there is how does CM's, you know, kind of reach or, or encourage new players to reach out to get that support when they need it? Because, you know, again, I know how to how to get a hold of you or X1, but a new player doesn't. And that's, yeah. I think that's the thing. But that, yeah, 1000%. So one of those ways is in-game chat and mm. being present in in-game chat or an in-game chat that is robust enough for us to be present so that if somebody has a question, they know exactly where to go and exactly who to go to, not just mm. us, but uh, experienced players and, and veteran players that, that, um, you know, enjoy helping mm. uh, new players kind of get, you know, get into a rhythm and, and learn a strategy. And that's one thing that we can't give, right? I can't mm -hmm. tell you what strategy to, to use to play the game. And Not financial advice. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> I can't I can't tell you what to do, mm -hmm. um, but I can point you in the direction of great resources yeah. that can then maybe tell you what to do, right? No, um, no, 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 no. Not financial advice, not game yeah. strategy advice. That's that's my yeah. motto. That's the motto. Yeah. I think so, too. And so yeah. that's where it gets really hard mm -hmm. is try trying to balance that. And I appreciate that. And again, that's something I've been, been looking at. It's like, how do we get more players in the game of Upland? You know, and I think we, I think Upland's been asking that question. I hope, uh, you know, yeah. If, uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> absolutely. You know, in a in a in a in a, uh, in a bear market, how do you add more people into into the into the Web three space? In a, in a uh, evolving landscape, how do you add people to Web three space? So I, I think it's exciting to see that answer. But I think part of I think part of being on the right track is definitely what you're doing is reaching out to players, opening channels in a larger way than they've been open in the past. Uh, the AMA thing, I, I joke about how late it is, but that was a, one of the best things that was instituted was every quarter, we're going to tell you what we're going to do this quarter. We're going to talk about what happened last quarter, and we're going to take questions about about those concerns or, or questions about our initiatives moving forward that you don't have the answers to because that's how you get the answers. You ask the question and somebody actually answers it. Who knows? So I appreciate that that's been going on. And again, you're, you're talking about being open to answering some of those questions potentially in, in the in-game chat more. So potentially more people can reach out that way. I'm going to leave before, before I ask my last important question, which is super important. Um, I, I want to ask what's the best way to reach out to, to interact with, with CMs when you hit that roadblock, when you've sent things into, into support, how many days do you wait? When do you decide to do it? And how's the, you know, what's the best way to reach out to, to community managers? Yeah. So support 
if you like sent into something into support and mm. you you should get like an auto response. If you don't get an auto response, there's a problem. Mm. Email didn't go through, something happened, right? So we reach out, reach out to a CM um, ASAP, right? If you reach out to support and they're investigating your issue because it's not something easy and it's not something that's widespread, it's something that's super specific to you and an issue that only you are having, they're going, you know, dev is going to need that information. They're going to do some research. So, so, you know, support is, is going to investigate, right? I would say that if you don't get a response from support, at least a, Hey, we are investigating and we're trying to get this, um, within three, four, three days, probably 48 to 72 hours, mm. you should probably reach out to a community manager or mm. post in tech bugs, right? We all know that um, that the is super active in tech bugs and goes in there and, and answers questions for folks. Um, I'm sorry, it's not just that the, there's other, there's other, yeah, yeah. I should be, I should say that. Um, now, if you had a, an issue and it, you know, fell through the cracks and you mm. haven't received an answer and it's been forever that they've been investigating your issue, mm. feel free to reach out to any of the community managers and we will be able to kind of search for answers for you. That's kind of mm. part of our job, right? To be a little um, an investigator, but also um, a little bit of a secret squirrel because we mm. dig around and stuff and trying to find, mm. trying to find some answers or where things fell through or where the ticket is right now and with who, and then that way we can ask those questions. Um, the amount of random messages saying, hey, so I saw that maybe you have this ticket right now. Can you, that it, it happens all the time. Mm -hmm. And so um, I think that, that if it's been a while, mm -hmm. definitely reach out. And now the best way to reach out is probably gonna be through um, in-game chat. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> That's the one I've been pushing, you know, moving more and more in game uh, yeah. again, br broader reach. And I think you guys have been doing pretty good about trying to do those fast turnarounds, right? As far yeah. as in game. Right, right. Okay. I'm going to keep using Discord Shh. until <laughs> until you shut it down. But yeah, I mean, it's a, it, it's great that we have that in game. Like, I, you could do like a queue, right? There, there is a queue where you can send in a question in some in some of those group chats or some of those uh, shared rooms and chat. And there's going to be whoever's whoever's available, whoever's on is going to go and check that. It might be faster to go that route rather than trying to go to a specific uh, community manager at that point, right? Yeah. So I think the the yes, um, mm -hmm. because especially when we get this a new kind of featured in game chat where you can tag um mm. like moderators for example i, I heard when uh, I, I think that sounds like that's in development <laughs> uh maybe um that'll definitely be um a, a kind of strong strong play uh over yeah. an in-game chat but um yeah i think that dming i mean we're definitely no stranger to receiving dms so mm -hmm. dming um posting in those open forums and asking those questions a lot of the time the issues that are happening um, other players can answer for you mm -hmm. because it's something that either they've experienced or it's happening all the time or you're doing something wrong or you just don't have um, the most up-to-date version of the app or whatever. That happens a lot. And so that that's probably a really um, great way to try to get help. There are no dumb questions, but 80% of the questions that people ask, you know, when, when I have, you know, when you have the experience, I see what people are asking. I'm just like, you know, it's like, I've been there or it's like, because you've you been know, there, yeah. Or, or, or it's like, or it's like, you should know this by now. You've been playing this game for two years. You should know this by now. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I um. Same thing with uh, DMs. There are no dumb DMs mm. um, in Discord, except uh, too many of them are just a hello with no follow through, or um, the little guy with a with a wave. But I mean, you you're friendly, Squall's friendly, Dan's friendly, but you've got limited time, a little bit, a little bit of limited time. Yeah, and the yeah. guy, the, the little, or I shouldn't call it, I, I shouldn't call it a guy, but the, the emoji that happens to be waving. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, please just don't just send that because it is it is super annoying. Bring Lizette, <laughs> bring Lizette your problems, not yeah. not your hellos. Right. Uh oh, you froze up again. What did you say? Do, do it again. Do it again. Do, do, you froze. Oh, I said straight shooter. <laughs> straight shooter. There you go. Yeah, get 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 to the point. Lizette will answer you. Yeah, hopefully. I love it.
I love it. So I got to ask you the most important question because okay. I'm resp- I'm trying to be respectful of your time. So so I so I get more opportunities to do these type of things. Uh, I, I I've gotten in trouble by not asking the most important question that you know one of my confidants uh, in the game of upwind has given me that so, that needs to be asked. It's like a character question apparently, and okay. if I miss it, I get yelled at. Okay. And that is, what is your favorite cereal? Oh, Honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> Did you say what did you say? Honey Nut Cheerios. Jeez, um. So when uh, when more cheese comes at you. Because I like Honey Nut Cheerios? Come on. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what she has to say. She says yeah. that's that's an important question that needs to get asked, apparently. Yeah. In my house, we purchase Honey Nut Cheerios and Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Those are the two that we And that's it. Sometimes we'll have like some special stuff, like some uh, Lucky Charms or some, I really like Fruit Loops too. Um, so sometimes we'll have that, but some special K, that kind of stuff. But Honey Nut Cheerios, solid. Fair enough. I'll, I'll have to let, let you know how that goes or I'll, I'll oh, let, I'll let, I'll let she's DM you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta be, you gotta be careful what you say when, when you talk about cereal, but to each know. their own. It was that serious. I didn't know cereal was that big a deal. I do yeah. love cereal, though. I do love eating cereal. Actually, sandwiches are my favorite food. I love eating sandwiches. Um, I could go for a sandwich right now. Well, there you go. And 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 I'm gonna and I'm gonna have to leave you and and have and go have a sandwich because otherwise I'll I'll get I'll get a blow air horn in my in my ear or something. So thank you so much, Lizette. I, I will, I will ask you, obviously I, I gotta, I gotta turn the mic over to you for a minute. Anything that you're working on, you want people to know uh, anything people you think people miss or don't have, or I don't know, intentionally miss when it comes to, to, to community management and communications with the community managers or, or what you're trying to do with, 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 with the overall upland or the game of upland or, or the community. Yeah, I mean, I think we we captured a lot. I think it's, you know, I don't want to sound like a broken record because mm-hmm. we've said it so many times, but we do want to create like the most, like a safe space, an inclusive space, a um, just an encouraging place uh, for folks to go. And, and, and that, an encouraging and safe space always includes um, the ability to, to vent to an extent, right? Mm-hmm. And so I think that... Um, We've had to have like pretty tough skin, right? Mm. To like, and you know, I have, I do have tough skin. I was in the Marine Corps, mm. and I, uh, I am stronger for it. And mm. so I, I, I get it. Some people um, are unhappy, but I think that as long as we're all good humans and we all treat each other with respect, and we're all, um, you know, encouraging and um, know when to remove yourself from a situation to cool off or um, know the right avenues to take. Um, I think we can have a successful community and I think that we can have a, a, a really bright future for Upland, but, um, it is super detrimental, um, to a lot of players and to, you know, Upland as a whole when we don't have that. So that's it. Those are my parting Uh, words. What I heard was cussy corner cafe in the middle of Upland, you know, just go there, go vent, don't, don't take it out on other people and then you can come back and yeah and it's more like maybe like i don't know um thoughtful and constructive mm. feedback versus mm. um not thoughtful and fair enough if- and i and, and i again I'll, you know without dragging these I'll, I'll i'll acknowledge or i will you know again put it out there kudos to you guys because you guys have been a lot better at least at least the game of upland as a whole i'm not saying that you have any major fault but the game of upland is like admitting when something didn't go right you know that that being able to say oops we screwed up this contest or you know we tried to do this and this happened instead i mean that's huge i think that that level of communication if people want to bring that up and say hey i did this this and this and it didn't work being able to acknowledge that is great and people being able to bring it up is great but i i 100 agree it's really hard to start a conversation with hey you idiots <laughs> i think you know this is something that i tell my kids all the time something that you know my friends and i talk about and it's all it's all about being a good human and part mm-hmm. of being a good human is accepting your faults accepting your mistakes but also you know taking responsibility um you know, for what you do, what you say, what, um, you know, what you put out there. And so I think that we should 
take that on and we could always be better about kind of accepting your mistakes and catching your mistakes before they happen. Mm. That's also part of it. But let's be, yeah. Mm. Let's be good <laughs> humans. Let's just be good humans. And I think that um we'll we'll be a lot better for it. I like that. Be better uplanders, be better humans. Yeah. With that party note, thank you so much, Lizette. Do some more <laughs> finger guns you. here. <laughs> yeah, more finger guns. Uh, thank you so much, Lizette. Of course, Lizette K, a community manager extraordinaire. Uh, can I, can I, I don't know. Do you, are you technically the lead or senior? So we actually have broken it. We, we've we preemptively broken up the community team mm. into two, which is like Europe and Asia and mm. uh, uh, North and uh, Latin America. And that's kind of how we've broken it up. Mm -hmm. And I am obviously over the North and Latin America and yeah. Squall is um, over like the Europe and Asia. Yeah. And we've already planned for the growth and Ooh. we've already planned for what is to come. So that that's technically um, the title there, but I think we, we all complement each other pretty well and we divvy stuff up really, really well. And time zones. So time zones are awesome too, because you kind of have a pretty good overlap for time zones yeah um kind of but yeah one thing that i want to see you didn't ask me this or maybe you did and i didn't really answer i did, i opened the floor up to you I know. you go right I, ahead. one thing that i really want to see upland doing this is a you know self-reflection mm. kind of critique inwardly is um handling the time zone issue better mm. You know, oh, we, you mean uh, you mean you mean everybody in australia it's always three o'clock in the morning for every single sale yeah. So not having to like wake up at 3 a.m. and seeing or 2 a.m. or whatever time it is over there when they do have to do it. But, yeah. oh, crap, I got a crappy spot in the in the queue. I'm going back to bed it's like that sucks. That and one that, hour, that one hour really, window is so tough. Yeah. Yeah. And so it would be really nice if it was a larger window, even if it was, you know, eight hours. I think. Oh, yeah. Eight hours would be plenty because, I mean, then then you can decide what to do before you go to bed. Right. Yeah. yeah. So. One way the no, I appreciate that, and, and you know what? That is that is a beautiful self reflection because <laughs> I've heard other people say that, but it's nice to hear that from somebody on the team. Yeah, no, I think I think that if I had to do one thing like immediate that I mm. wish, you know, it it would be that taking into account uh, time zones, and I know that there there's plans to do that. Um, mm. It's just trying to to balance it all and make it happen. Um, but that's one thing, absolutely. Um, actually, I think it should be 12 hours at least, because if you do eight hours, now you're looking at like. People sleep for eight hours. I don't, like, I don't, but people do. <laughs> yeah. And now you're looking at like weird for other time zones. Right. And yeah. I don't know if there's ever a, a time that works for every single time zone. Mm -hmm. So I think allowing, you know, more of the day, I guess 24 yeah. hours would be optimal, but at least 12 hours. Yeah. And some of these contests, if we know about them more than six hours before the contest kicks off would be lovely too. Now you're just pushing it. Okay. <laughs> I hear you. I do. I hear yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. No, and, and I appreciate I appreciate that that the goal typically is 24 hours notice. Hey, register for the sale. The sales happen in yeah. 24 hours. I appreciate that. It, it we don't always get to 24 hours, but I appreciate when it does happen. Well, thank you so much again, Lizette K. Um, I hope we get to do this again. I will say this up front. This has been like eight months in the going, uh, trying to find a time to make it happen. So yeah. uh I do appreciate your time and how busy you are. And thank you again so much for, uh, for your time today and your insight. I really appreciate you. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the, in the show.